This is BBC Radio Nottingham on VHF 94.8 and Rediffusion Channel C. And the chimes of Little John, Nottingham City Clock, signal the fact that Radio Nottingham is officially on the air. And now, the first edition of Nottingham Newsreel. And first, the local news read by Tony Church. A Nottinghamshire power giant gets underway. The £80 million station at Ratcliffe on Saw began feeding electricity into the national grid today. The station's taken more than four years to build, and by the time it's reached full capacity, it'll be providing enough power for 20 million light bulbs. It'll be burning 5 million tonnes of coal a year from the East Midland coal fields. A change at the top for the Conservative group on the City Council. Alderman William Derbyshire, who lost the leadership of the group last year... I well remember, and uh, with affection, some 40 years ago, Nottingham's first own radio station was 5NG. That was in the days of Uncle Laurie and Auntie Ruby. Well, now the wheel has turned full circle, and here we are again with our own broadcasting station. It's therefore a great pleasure to me, as Lord Mayor of Nottingham, to have the opportunity of taking part in tonight's important occasion of the opening of Radio Nottingham. I know my council welcomes the coming of local radio to the city, and I'm sure will do everything it can as a local authority to encourage and stimulate the interest and development of the service. I wish Nottingham hometown radio station every success, and its success will help to determine the whole development of local radio in this country. Our only instruction to Radio Nottingham are that the programmes must always be lively, never dull, and must above all be tailor-made for Nottingham. Radio Nottingham! My name's Dave Wilkinson, and right now it's time for Town Crier. And we open Town Cryer this morning, as usual, with a reading from the station diary. At quarter past seven this evening, there's a meeting of the Players' Chess Club in the Pavilion at Players' Recreation Ground. There's also a solo drive at the YMCA in Shakespeare Street. The Music Society's Opera Group have a performance of Das Liebes Verbot, and it's the first performance for many years. It's in the Great Hall of Trent Building, and tickets cost four shillings, five shillings, and even six shillings. Hello there, and welcome to another Wednesday Ringing and Rabbit session, the programme in which you can join by picking up your telephone and dialing 47643. That's the number to ring to air your views, put your questions or whatever to the studio panel, 47643. And our subject this morning arises out of last Thursday's programme when four... What about lamb? That's been down the last week yes, or two, it hasn't it? Spring, English spring lamb is still keeping the same price last week, but it's reasonable by comparison to the beef. The shoulders of lamb are still four and sixpence and four and eightpence a pound. The legs are six shillings to six and six a pound, depending upon the cut and the bone content. The loin is six shillings to six and six two. Breast, one and six to two shillings, depending again upon the, the uh, part of the breast. You're tuned to Radio Nottingham, VHF 94.8 and... Rediffusion Channel C's, Greg's saying. Uh, it's about the only thing he can say these days because he disgraced himself so much last week when he got all the things wrong and got his tail on the records and things like that that uh, really, Greg, I'm surprised you're <coughs> speaking at all. Well, you are. Anyway, and what have you found for us today? What's in the brand tub?
today we're going to do a short cut with relaxation to the art of sleeping. We'll start by relaxing your whole body in four breaths, then we'll go on from there. Now, warm and comfortable are you? Roll your head against a pillow so that it's well supported and close your eyes. Ready? We'll do one breathing to start with and as before, feel a general tired weight all over as you sink into your bed or chair. Betty looked across the kitchen table at her husband with disgust. Close off, click. What the hell did you expect? A skinful of ale and you're a bloody menace. Chicken, I cook with the cooking oil. And uh, yes, it's very simple. I, there are a few spices used. Uh, red pepper in powder form and uh, um, some tomatoes and yogurt. We moved into a furnished room which consisted of a furniture and a kitchen at three pound ten shillings per week. I told the landlord I was appealing to the rent tribunal for a, a reduction and he said, oh, you've made things difficult. A man who's having tenancy problems. In You and the Law today, we examine the relationship with the landlord and his tenant and ask the question, just how much is an Englishman's home his castle? With me are two city solicitors. First of all, gentlemen, before we hear more from this man with his complaints, I'd like to ask you this question. How much is an Englishman's home, his castle? Well, the statutory protection that uh, a tenant in particular, I think we're, we're talking of tenants now, has. Wowee! What a fantastic hit. Georgie Fame and the Ballad of Bonnie and Clyde. You're tuned to On the Heath and this is our Heath. <laughs> this is Nottingham and my name's Phil Smith. This is Scene Around, Radio Nottingham's weekly look at the local pop scene. The group we're featuring this week is Sons and Mothers. These people are the do-gooders. Uh, they're always trying to jump on the bandwagon, and especially in an area like St Anne's. I have offered to Mr. Goslin and to Mrs. Smith and to the Rate Ta Payers Association that any time I can be of any service to them, I will be there. And I haven't had any communication from them at all about these rats. So this is a lot of poppycock. Yes. Right. If, if uh, can we uh, just can interrupt you a moment? Because we have a listener uh, on the phone to us all here, and it's Mr. Preston of Woodborough Road. What's your point, Mr. Preston? Um, well, uh, just mind to I say that we have had um, this um, problem. We have had rats. And uh, I must, uh, I feel that I ought to hand the bouquet out to the health department in the way that they've dealt with the problem. They've been very efficient. They came when we called them. They, um, they gave every possible assistance and advice. And the advice they gave was that uh, the sewer, the drainage system was um, broken. This is the way the rats were entering and that it ought to be repaired. This, I think, was a point that was made earlier in the programme this evening. Mr Preston, where do you... Hello there. Dennis McCarthy here with the first of our new series of dog programmes in which we take the lead. We've got a very full programme today, so let's begin straight away with our Breed of the Week. And this week we're featuring the... Uh... This is Radio Nottingham on 94.8 VHF and Rediffusion Channel C. The time's ten past eleven. Here's Tony Church and Roundabout Midday. <laughs> Uh, 
And that's where we take our leave of Baldunican and the early programme on Radio 2. You're listening to your local station, BBC Radio Nottingham. We broadcast as ever on 197 metres medium wave, 95.4 VHF and Rediffusion Channel C. The time now is 6.30 on the morning of Tuesday, November the 29th. And this is Oliver Martlew welcoming you to this edition of Morning Report. Another very cold and frosty morning, and I should imagine likely to stay so. The weather forecast is, of course, just one piece of information we'll be bringing you throughout the programme this morning, plus the national news at 7 and 8 o'clock, followed by the local bulletin at 10 past the hour, and that in its turn followed by sports desk, and then interviews, features, traffic information and other items. But first, the news from John Barsby. The fireman's dispute and with the strike now in its... Hello again, and from an interest point this morning, there's news that the comfortable Cross Keys hostelry at Castle Donington is due to reopen very, very soon. But for immediate action, tonight's the night at the Shipley Boat in near Eastwood, where it's thigh-slapping time to the music of the Lace City's favourite umpire band, that's Carl and the Idleburgers. The outlook for tomorrow and Thursday, mostly dry with sunny intervals, cold with a slight frost at night and some fog patches. That's all for now. Next news here on Radio Nottingham at 10 o'clock. Ring for service. The number to ring, 44444. Good morning, Graham Percy here with Ring for Service, and this morning's programme is subtitled Utopia Now, as with me there are two experts on what is loosely called alternative technology. Already there's a growing acceptance of such things. Open line, open line, open line, open line, open line, open line. At half past ten today, you can forget all about that Monday morning feeling. Just cast it aside, in fact. All you have to do is listen to Roundabout on Radio Nottingham, of course. I can promise music to cheer you by Ray Charles, the Rolling Stones, Cliff Richard and Neil Diamond, to name just four acts. Our brand new album of the week will be a real eye-opener and a surprise for their critics. It's this one. The title track from the Bay City Rollers. It's a quarter to one. This is John Hobson with the full Radio Nottingham news. The worst of the flooding in Nottinghamshire appears to be over. However, many acres of grassland are still underwater. It's your station for opinions and views. It's your station for music and news. Radio Nottingham's here for you. The time now is 1.30. And here's Freddie Gaunt with Radioscope. Hello and welcome to the programme, which today looks at the months and what their names mean, and also the fact that the new year has changed. Well, changed the time of year that it comes in anyway. Hello and welcome to Wednesday's edition of Afternoon Special. This afternoon, so it's just thee and me. And if you'd like to have a natural on the programme, the number to ring is Nottingham 44444. Tony Church here with today's edition of Evening Extra. For the next 45 minutes, all you need to catch up with the day. The pick of the events and personalities, the latest sports news, what's on tonight in the Nottingham area, traffic reports to speed the journey home and plenty of music too. And of course we've got all the day's news starting with the latest headlines from... BBC Radio Nottingham, it's half past six, here's Trevor Dan. Thanks very much Ian and good evening. Three hours of good rock music coming your way now, covering the entire spectrum from McCoy Tyner to the Desperate Bicycles and Pete Atkin to the Rosillos. Got a competition too with Styx albums to be won, but first of all, I hate to say I told you so, but this is Neil Young's new single. Oh, 
Hello, good evening, and a very warm welcome from me, Andrew David, to you, and another half hour of From the Top, all the very best instrumental music released this week. And I can promise you in today's programme a couple of TV themes, the new LP... <laughs> And that means it's time for another helping of Midday Musical Madness with this week's edition of Chasey's Jukebox. And we've really got the recipe right today and if you want to write it down it's as follows. Two juicy pieces of rockabilly, one medium-sized piece of Elvis Presley, two tablespoons of Bill Haley and one grated Gene Chandler. Stir together with a pinch of Little Richard and add a soup son of the crests. Pop under a warm Larry Williams, gas mark eight, sprinkle with a little Shirelles and serve it hot with Ricky Nelson on the side. Doesn't smell very nice but it sounds great. And my mouth's watering already so take it away fans. Today's composers here on Classics for You are the two Bs, Bach and Beethoven. The programme ends with a complete performance of Beethoven's Symphony No. 2 in D, Opus 36. First, though, one of Bach's most popular works. It's the Toccata and Fugue in D minor, DWV 565. Hello everyone and welcome. This is Ron Stadens with another program of music from the Golden Years. Hello, my name's Stephen G and this is Folk Scene. In tonight's program we'll be having some songs from the organiser of a club way out in the wilds of Nottinghamshire and one or two more items of music too, so stay tuned. sounds of Mano Di Bango brings Anything Goes to an end for this evening. Hope you've enjoyed my kind of music for the last 45 minutes and that you'll join us again next week. Oliver Martlew will be back again with you tomorrow morning at half past six but now the time's nine o'clock and we go over to London for the National News. <laughs>